Back in 2020, my daughter was rushed to the hospital while I was at work. Uh, I called my ex-husband, which was her father, to figure out what had happened to her. And his story was that she would, had rolled off the bed and hit, uh, hit her head on the table. Well, she was also rushed to UK hospital and they found out that she had a skull fracture, broken ribs and bleeding on the brain. And she was unresponsive, obviously. They immediately ruled it as child abuse and started asking us both questions. They questioned me, asked me if I knew anything, had anything to do with it, if I knew anything about it, I said no. They started asking her dad questions and I had no idea what they were asking him or nothing. I was in the emergency room with my son and he just comes into the room and they had him handcuffed and they had a towel over his hands and I just asked him, you know, like, what did you do? And he said, he immediately looked me in my face and he told me, he's like, I'm sorry, I got frustrated with her and I shook her. Later, he ended up pleading guilty to a lesser charge of two accounts, two assault charges and he got a deal of 20 years in jail. Even though that he's confessed, people are still on me and basically trying to sit there and say that I had something to do with it that I did it to my daughter, or that he just took the rap for me, but that's not the case. I've heard all this all over social media. I've been harassed for three years since it happened, and it's just, it's getting tiring. The rumors have affected me because I know I would never hurt my child. There also was somebody actually from our hometown that had made a blog online talking about it and put their own point of views out there which made everybody believe that I had something to do with it and that basically I was neglecting and abusing my children, my children, both of them actually. When people jump to conclusions and everything about the story because they don't know my story, they don't know what happened, they don't know what I had to go through with it. Got a new boyfriend, his name's Terry and I've been with him for two years and they still even give him crap even though he had nothing to do with it but somehow people still manage to throw him in the mix and put accusations on him as well. It's been about a year, year and a half since I've seen my daughter or any of my kids. It's been rough, because like, I at least want to be able to see them, and I can't. When it comes back that I pass, I want people to know that I told the truth, obviously, and I just want people to stop with the harassment and the assumptions. Don't make assumptions on people when you don't know them. I'm tired and frustrated and been angry and I just, just you yeah, know, I just want my kids back. Uh, so Chelsea, how has life been for you since this happened to your daughter? It's been rough. Uh, the daughter that suffered these uh, injuries, where is she now? She's currently in foster care. She's in foster care. Has uh, she recovered from these injuries? Yes, she has a uh, shunt in her head that runs from her brain to her stomach to help drain off the extra fluid that builds up on her brain. From and the injuries that she got from your ex-husband? Yes. Are you, are you not married or are you We're divorced? We're separated, but you're, we've, you're we've been trying to get a married. divorce. But he's in prison? Yes. Okay. Uh, so she's recovered, but she has issues that she's going to have to deal with for the rest of her life? Or mm. yeah. What do you remember about the day you found out this, this all went down? Um, I was at work. I worked on a line with car parts, you know, a lot of car parts on a dolly. And uh, my team leader came back to me and he told me that numerous people was calling and something's going on with your child. I was just like, okay. Well, they took me back to the break room to get my phone. Um, the first person I called was her father. And I asked him, I was like, what's going on? He's like, well, she's being rushed to the hospital. And my immediate thought was like, what had happened, and he told me at that time that she had rolled off the bed and she hit her head. And How old was she at the time? Four months. Would she normally be laying on a bed? Sometimes when we go to change her, yes. Yeah, but if you're changing her, she can't roll off the bed. He told me that he had laid her on the bed and he went to go make her bottle and left her on the bed. And she rolled off and she suffered all these injuries, uh, bleeding on the brain, broken ribs. Yeah, that's what he told me. Did you believe her? Believe him? At the time, because I didn't know, at that time when he told me that, I didn't know what the injuries were at that time because she hadn't made it to the hospital yet anyways. And so like, I was like, maybe that's possible, you know? Well, the doctor immediately spoke to me over the phone and he was like, told, that's when he told me the injuries. And I was just like, I was shocked. I was just like, how, like, 
I had no clue what had happened. Because you believe this is not a child rolling off a of bed injuries. Yeah. Have you ever talked to him since? No. Since this day, when he after that phone call, you've never talked to him again. No. Nope. As a mom, you didn't want to be like, "Hey, why'd you do this to my daughter?" Um, DCBS had called me. I'm saying, whatever the case may be, how would you miss a drug test if you know if I miss this drug test, I'm not going to get my kids back? You didn't think that way? I mean, it's just, it was hard on me because I didn't have a vehicle. I was at work and I worked in a different town. And I even well, told him that, Well, then how'd you get too. to work? I rode in with a friend that worked with me. Okay, so now your kids are gone, right? Are you ever getting them back? I don't know. You don't know if you're ever getting your kids back. They've been gone for three years. Do you think you're getting them back? No. Are they being adopted out? Yes. So you're not getting them back. Did you have to sign a piece of paper, sign your rights away? No, they terminated it. Oh, they, they just said, you're done. You, and you didn't, did they give you a reason why they were terminating your rights? Come on, I see, I, I don't believe this. Uh, so now you feel like you're being abused on social media, right? I get attacked on social media. People, oh, he's that bald headed prick, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't want them to, you know, think that you, they can do all this and just Dude, dis what disappear. are they doing to you? They're, they've been harassing me for three years. On social media. And if you stayed off it, could they harass you? Mm -hmm. No. So get off of it. What, what are they saying about you that's harassing? They uh, take my story and they talk about it. And they say that I was the one that did it to her. They say that I had something to do with that it. That you did some damage to your daughter. Yeah. So now, you're, you're still a young woman. You're only 23 years old. Um, you had these three kids in your life. You were a mom. They're totally out of your life. They're going to be adopted out. And I'm assuming you won't see them until they become adults, and then they would have the freedom to reach out to you. Um, and why are you here today? Basically... Back in 2019, I met Chelsea on a live, and her and I were acquaintances for a little bit, and her and I got into a dispute, and she decided to mention the situation between her and her daughter and the case. Her and I were basically going back and forth about it, and she, she was acting pretty desperate to prove that she didn't do anything to her daughter. Um, I was like, why, why are you like at telling me this? Why are you, you know, trying to do all this? Like, I, I don't really care, I guess. Like, I, I don't really care. Like, it's not my business. And so I basically just asked, did, well, did you do it? And she got offended over it. It's not like I was accusing her of doing it. I just simply asked her if she did it because of the way that she was acting. I think that she knew that the father was doing it. But how do you say that you didn't know that he, he was doing it when he has a past of being abusive? What makes me think that she hasn't fought for her kids and what makes me think that she had something to do with it is the way that she acts on social media. She acts like she doesn't care. She cares more about her appearance. She cares more about the attention coming from social media. And I feel like she tries too hard to prove herself to the point where she looks guilty. Is she saying anything that's incorrect? I mean, yeah, I do defend myself when it comes to people saying stuff about it a lot. I do get offended by when people do bring it up. Did you know that your husband was abusing your children? No. No. All right, well, let's meet your boyfriend. Oh, your boyfriend doesn't want to come out here. Okay. I'll go back to him.
How you doing, Terry? Pretty good. Nervous. You know. Yeah, nervous. What yeah. are you nervous about? Um, if it really happened or not, you know, if she's telling me the truth about it. Yeah. You know. What do you think? I don't know, to be honest. Um, it, I don't know. It, it's coming to my mind if she really did it or not, or if her husband done it, you know. Uh, when you hear her answers on stage to a lot of the things, does it give you pause? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like whenever I first met her and everything, you know, I didn't even know she had kids at first. Because she didn't have them. Yeah. But I mean, also she, where she went through all that trauma and everything, she didn't want to tell she me She didn't about tell it. you that she yeah. had three kids. When did she tell you she had uh, three kids? Around like two weeks after we was talking yeah. and everything. Um, and does she spend a lot of time on social media? Yes. Do, do you ever tell her, why do you spend so much time on social media? Um, I, I've get, got to that. I also told her, like, you know, I wanted to spend time with her and everything like that. Like, she always goes to, you know, social media and everything like that. Um, and you want her to spend time with yes. you? Yes. Um, do you see this as being long term? Yes. Really? Yes. What if she fails her lie detector test? Then I don't know what I'm going to think. I'm probably just going to end up leaving. Yeah. Okay, we broke your test down into two parts. First part, we asked you, did you ever witness your ex physically abuse your daughter? You answered no. Did you ever witness your ex shake your daughter excessively to stop her from crying? You answered no, and those two results came back inconclusive. Uh, I don't know why we got inconclusive results on those, but we did. Then we go on to ask you, did you know your daughter was being physically abused prior to January 17th of 2020? You answered no. Did you physically abuse your daughter causing any of her injuries? You answered no. And the result of those two questions, the results came back the same, and it came back that Chelsea did not tell the truth. <laughs> And just, just so you know, you need uh, a minus four to fail or a plus four to pass. Minus four, plus four. You failed your test with a minus 18. <laughs> so, uh, kind of lying, lying off the charts, okay? Lying off the charts. So my, my, my question to you is, why did you physically abuse your daughter? Please don't tell me you didn't do it. Didn't. Just, you want to just continue to lie? I never There's heard. a reason why you don't have your kids. There's a reason why you will never have your kids again. So this, all this is just a piece of paper saying, you're a liar, but most people know that about you already. Anything you'd like to say? Well, oh. I've been with you for two years, and you sit there and say you didn't do it. Never hurt my daughter. But it comes back that you did, though. Goodbye. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Move on. Move on. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're with, listen. You didn't need, I'm, I'm sorry. All this is just reaffirming things. You, she didn't do anything she could to get her children back. She, she failed to do the basic things that she could have done to get her kids back. But she knows she was abusing them damn kids herself. She's worried about nonsense. Wasting her life on a phone instead of living her life. And you know, <laughs> let me tell you something. I just did you a huge favor. Instead of wasting any more time on this despicable mother, and you say, oh, maybe we could have kids. No, man. Run as fast as you can, cut that out, and go find yourself somebody, a nice girl, that's going to take care of kids, right? Good luck to you. 
I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that, too. Do you want to tell your story on The Steve Wilco Show? Visit the link in the description to get my help.